but no one needs, you know, for example, like a semi to hunt. a I fully semi-automatic. So are you uncomfortable? I don't like. That. I know. Neither. I know. I, I. So you've never have you ever fired a firearm? Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we want. So is it because of the magazine capacity? No. Look at it. Yeah. It does look it's really a, sinister. A, Hashtag I'm with her. Oh, that seat's far up there. Would you be on board with common sense gun reform? Depends on what that means. Do you own any firearms? Shotgun. Well, sorry. <laughs> no. Not, no. No shotguns? No. No guns at all? Is Thank you. Common sense gun reform means? Yep. You can keep walking, sir. <laughs> Today we're here with the Citizens Coalition for Common Sense Gun Reform, CCCGR. Common Sense. GSR. To see what people know or don't know about firearms and just how far they're willing to give over the reins to the federal government as far as legislation based on that knowledge. It's common sense. Common sense. As the firearm debate rages on, it's hard to delineate between facts and buzzwords. A semi-automatic assault rifle. Assault rifle. Assault rifle. Semi-automatic assault rifles. Assault weapons are the weapons of choice for mass shooters. Automatic weapons. Semi-automatic assault weapons. Assault weapons. Everyone's on board with common sense, right? Common sense. Common sense measures. Common sense measures. Hashtag common sense. I like to believe I have a shred of common sense. Common sense. Common sense. Common sense. Common sense. Common sense. We want to be common uh, sense. That's why when you said common, common sense, sense, I'm like, I'm here. And nobody really wants those scary assault weapons on the streets, right? We're here pushing, for example, a common sense assault weapons ban. But what do those terms actually mean? If anything, legally, more importantly, what do the people voting think they mean? Well, are you a firearm owner? Nope. Okay, great. Are you a gun owner at all? I'm not. You don't shoot guns, you don't own guns? Right. Perfect, good. So, are you a firearm owner? No. Okay. Well, I won't own one. Good, 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 good. I actually own a high capacity semi-automatic. Well, you know what, you're not for us, but thank you, I appreciate it. You can move along, because we need him here. Okay, so you don't own guns, you don't go shooting. Good, that's exactly what we want. So, do you own any firearms? Hell no. Oh, good, perfect. That's who we want signing this. When getting gun control pushed through, it's very important to make sure that the people on board or not firearm owners, or if, just better if they've never even seen a gun. That's how you get the signatures. Do you have like a sliding scale of what you think should be okay to own versus what's unreasonable? What would be fine versus what the government needs to step in and ban? Well, maybe like the hunting ones are pretty normal, right? right? Okay, like so those, yeah. Like no, those would, like so you'd, somebody need to own that. Right, does anything pop out at you? Probably the uh, two on the right. Those you'd say like people don't need that? Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say not the, scar those. the scary black ones, and yeah, yeah. but something like this. No. No. Something like this. No. Illegal. 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 This. No. No. And this. No. no one needs, you know, something like an AK no. and AR. No, fully automatic. Right, but maybe maybe something like this, like a 30 yacht, something like this. I don't think so. Okay, so that, but that 22, we're good. Yeah. Okay, something like this, a hunting rifle. Yes. Yeah. Well, the wood and the metal. Yeah. Hunting rifle. Uh, something like this, another hunting rifle. Sure. 30-06 hunting rifle. I'm fine with that. Fine with that. Your basic lever action 357. Yeah, you can only get 13 rounds in that. Right off the bat, everybody had strong opinions and feelings, but how much do these experts actually know about firearms? If anything. Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's an Uzi. Well, no one needs a fully semi-automatic right. weapon. Careful, careful. You never know when firearms can just, you know, do their thing. Do they shoot one at a time or all? They're, it's fully semi-automatic. Oh, okay, then no. Yeah, okay, so no. <laughs> these are all automatic? Well, the, yeah, many of these, some of these are fully, fully semi-automatic. Pause for those watching this who don't yet know. Fully semi-automatic is a very stupid made-up term uh, by me. Continue. Well, there's no such thing as fully semi-automatic. Well, we can get into wordplay, sure, but nobody needs a fully semi-automatic weapon. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I mean, what's the reason for like a fully semi-automatic? AK-47? No one no. Have you heard of the AR-15? Yes. That's the bad one. AR-15. 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 AR-17. You know, AR-15. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the, that's the really bad one if you pay attention to the news. That's the one that's like, that's the worst. And this is an AR-15. No. Have you heard about the AR-15? No, but it looks worse than that one. It looks, it looks worse, right? Yeah. yeah. So is it because of the magazine capacity? No, look at it. Yeah, it does look it's really not a, sinister. It's not a hunting gun. No, like they don't need that. Huh? No, you know. No one hunts with those. No one hunts with those. You know, no one needs a semi-automatic AR-15 or AK-47. Yeah. Right. I mean, what's the deer? Is it a Rambo deer? Something like was it? I think 98% of mass shootings use the AR-15. You, you wear that? Like that's one that's using like 90. What is it? 99.4. 
of mass shootings. Only none of that is true. See these actual statistics regarding mass shootings. Government should, like you said, round them up, gone. We noticed a distinct trend. If the rifle was metal and wood, people were fine with it. If it was black and tactical looking, they wanted it banned. I sound like John Stossel. This one's a personal favorite of mine. It mixes up a lot of people because it's a lever action, but you can fit 13 rounds of 357 in there. And uh, you're getting close to AK-47 ballistics. How fast can you fire it? This fast. My cameraman just peed himself. So with rifle knowledge, that seems pretty open and shut. Let's see if they have any better luck with handguns. Do you think anyone really needs a handgun? Handguns are something that, you know, I can look with. I don't see a problem with handguns. It's the, um, I guess, because like, rifles. right. No one's committing. No one's committing mass shootings with these. Yeah. You know, right. I mean, well, let's. I mean. Do you think that anyone really needs a handgun in 2016? Maybe a hunt, or maybe if you're like out in the wilderness. Okay. You know, you don't need an eight round right. handgun. You know, if it's, if it's 10 rounds of 22 or something, that's fine. This, yeah. revolvers, okay. yeah, six yeah. shot. Well, if it's a revolver, 10 shots, okay. This revolver that actually fits 10 rounds can f gets a lot of people mixed up. But in, right. in areas like this for defense? Uh, no. It's common sense. You know, I mean, I understand why some people think they have to have a gun for self-protection, and I feel sorry for them. But it's common sense. Common that's sense. right. Yeah. Common sense. It's sure, yeah, you know, that's why you, you call then. someone else. Right. So, I mean, I to ensure your livelihood. Two guns. Oh, you're German. Yeah. Okay, German. So German Austrian Glock comes from you guys. We need you to petition them and make sure they're not making them anymore. There's no need for them. Okay. <laughs> no, no better with handguns. Uh, surprise. Turns out common sense opinions on guns doesn't involve any actual knowledge of guns. Let's see if they fare any better with calibers. This is just your basic 30 6 hunting rifle. Something like this, you know, a hunting rifle. Yeah, sure. I'm fine with that. You're fine with that? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that should be okay. That should be okay. Yeah, when it's wood and metal, it's a good rule of thumb. Yeah. What about calibers? Do you have an issue, for example, what kind of caliber is okay? Like, in this, this is 22 Obviously small. Those, those look a little big. Do you think someone like needs that big. here to hunt? I wouldn't think so. No. No. Something like that can cause a lot of damage. Think, I think the deer's done. Blah, blah. When you get into the chopper, it's funny, that one was perfectly fine with the gun that fires the 30 out 6 but thought that the 30 out 6 round should be banned. The wood and the metal confuses people. So maybe, so maybe something like, like that? Yeah. You know, something, something like this, like a much smaller hunting round, right, would be reasonable. And so you've got like a 22, deer's just as dead. The moose is just as good dead if you have, you know, when you just one of these. Deer tastes just as good. Tastes just as good in the table. You will only wound the animals and put them into misery. So you're saying someone needs this to hunt? Yes. Well, on that we disagree, sir. I don't. I don't like armor piercing, and, and I don't like health. That's, right. That's, there you go. You don't know. Maybe I do. Why do you not care about the 32,000 dead in the United States? Do you know about hollow points? I don't. If it hits somebody, it basically explodes, and it's like like it, it it it's like a watermelon blowing up. You come back to me when you find your soul, sir. It yeah, blows up their whole that. body. Yeah. You could see right through them. Yeah. You could see the car right behind them with a hollow yeah. point. Okay. This next one's a magic trick. Okay. Because everybody was against this gun. This gun and okay with this gun. But, ta-da, same round. They're voting your president. One thing too, a lot of people miss this, they don't think about it, no. gun storage, oh, firearm yeah. storage. Yeah, That's yeah. where a lot of accidents totally happen. Yeah. We just don't want people with easily accessible, like loaded firearms, you know, yeah. just at a moment's notice. Sure. Firearm has to be unloaded, trigger guard, in a micro safe and a macro safe with the bullets somewhere else. Common sense. Basically, so it's not usable for home defense or anything other than hunting or target shooting. Does that seem common sense? Yeah, that seems common sense. You know, that way a kid just doesn't get it, you know, and just, you know, you don't know what he's gonna well, do. I, I'm, I'm Might try and take a nap with it. Be. So safe in a safe and then bullets somewhere else. Does that seem like something we can be on board with? Yeah, I think so for the sake yeah. of these. Just a, just yeah. two safes and a trigger lock without bullets. It's common sense. You could sign that, that'd be great. You know, in a, in a micro safe, in a macro safe. Safe inside a safe? Yes, yeah, so a safe inside a safe. Yeah, two oh. safes. Here's the point where I go full Daniel Day-Lewis and Method Act as an anti-Second Amendment activist using their most common arguments. First off, do you own any firearms? Yes. Ah, uh, that's not, then thank you. I could tell that you seem like someone who's probably, you seem politically engaged, active. Try it. I can tell by the glasses. Are you basically against all firearms? No, I'm not, but I'm just against asking people who may not exhibit as much common sense as we'd like. Oh. So you have bullet regulation, but more importantly, 
common sense clip regulation. Oh, that's a multi-clip. Yes, that's no, a multi-clip. No, okay, and here's the thing about clips, right? It's so like these are these are clips. Oh, yeah. They use these they use these terms that are benign, like they say magazine. Oh. So you think, oh, what, what? Is there Us Weekly or People? <laughs> it's a clip. It's a clip. I hate me too. Do you own any firearms? I used to. But you got rid of them? Yeah. Well, good, you're safer because of it. If you own firearms, you know, you're, you're 18 hey, times more likely to have an accident with a firearm in your house. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. My dad's a judge, so he is using that. Well, your dad has made you less safe by having firearms in the house. Go oh, tell no, him that. 32,000 Americans dead. I consider that an insult. <laughs> well, I, I consider an insult that you take part in, you know, what is the 32,000 deaths of Americans every year through firearms? 32,000 Americans dead. You don't care about the lives that are lost to gun violence senselessly? To each their own, I guess. If they're educated, I say, if they want a gun, they can. All right, well, that's fine. Most mass shooters are educated. Most mass shooters are educated, that's a good point. Common sense. 30,000 people to gun violence. 10,000 more people in the time I just said that. Now it's 12,000, so, you know, there's nothing, nothing we can do here. I mean, I guess, I guess you guys are okay with, like, another McVeigh. So you're not a firearm owner, I take it? No. Well, good. Another Dylan Roof. I live in the hood. Really? And where all my, uh, where, where do all my... Hood thugs get their guns. Your guy? Yeah, no, <laughs> from the NRA members who don't bother them off. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. We're, we're just trying to stop him, but you know. All right. Now, now I feel bad. Get him from the NRA? Yeah, because the members don't lock them up. Really? Well, they don't go out and buy legal guns. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I want to have responsible firearm owners. Right. Me, that I go hunting in the fall, as my family has for many traditions. I don't own a handgun. Might not be so responsible for that uh, animal you're hunting though, huh? I know that. So but these I people are breaking in, they're committing crimes, and you know, yeah. we're just trying to fight it with some common sense legislation so criminals don't break the law. God have mercy on your soul. Well, if you can't fly, you shouldn't be able to buy. Right. No fly, no buy. No fly, no buy. Say no fly, no buy. No fly. No buy. Who aren't allowed on a plane shouldn't be allowed to buy a gun. The NRA is the most unregulated. Right. Regulated. What part of their ass is a regulated militia? No. What part of your ass is part of a well-regulated militia? Uh, they're the lousiest keeper of guns in the country. They, yeah, I know. They'll they claim they do, but they don't. I know. Do you know what the process is like for the no-fly list? No, I don't. It's pretty scrupulous. Here's a guy who has no idea what the NRA is. I know. If anything, I want a firearm owner to not be in the NRA. I want them to have never gone through an NRA course. This guy's possibly drunk. You're on the no-fly list, you know. You're either a terrorist or another senator's pulling a yeah. prank, but that's rare. I don't want them on the newsletter. Right. 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 If they have to have a gun, right. I want them to have never even heard of the NRA. You know where they belong? In Somalia. Somalia? Everybody's got a gun there. It's true, all the pirates and swords. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. I want to die. Um, no, no, no. There's no adventure here. Yeah. No one needs a gun for home defense. No. Hashtag well, I'm with her. With you gotta go with Hillary. Well, of course. I mean, she's the only one that is, wants to support anything like this. Yeah, I mean, what self-respecting man would vote otherwise? Yeah, I know. Hashtag I'm with her. Hashtag common sense. Okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you. No home defense. No. No need. I'll throw one of the cats at. There you go. Crazy cat guy. That's what we want signing. Hashtag feminism. Hashtag LGBTQAIP. Hashtag common sense. Let the NRA know that you don't want them selling any more guns. He agrees. See you at the polls. Hashtag no semi-automatics. Got it. Thank you. Hashtag thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck with mom. Moms demand action. Okay. Hashtag I'm with her. No, that seat's far up there. Well, there you have it. The people who've never owned guns, fired guns, or even seen guns are the ones most likely to remarkably quickly sign petitions to actively ban your guns. These are the same people electing your next president. It's common sense. Common sense. Okay, you're killing it. That's enough with that. Uh, speaking of common sense, uh, common sense tells me that hopefully I can find one active live round somewhere and blow my head off. It's common sense. Don't say it. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe. How? 
by hitting the big letters down there that write out subscribe. Or you can watch one of these other Second Amendment centric videos playing in boxes. Was the Second Amendment designed for the militia only? Was it written just for muskets? Just how much does Vox suck? And Young Turks. Louderwithcrowder.com for references and daily articles. Or stay in the dark. We don't care. Now, are you a firearm owner yourself? I am not. No. Okay. No, great. We, we, we're looking for uh, people like that to sign. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thanks Appreciate so much it, sir. Thank you. Take care. You too. Idiot.